Hi, I'm Chris Cook with Security Awareness Incorporated. You've got your MSN account now and you're using them as your internet service provider and you want to set up an email address. Well, it's pretty easy. As you're setting up your account, they're going to ask you for the desired email account that you want to have. Choose something that's meaningful, choose something that's whimsical, however you want to express yourself to everybody that you want to communicate. But remember, once you have the email address in there, that's how a lot of people are going to know you. So choose something well. Now, a lot of times you're going to want to use something that's already been used. You may have to go through two or three different choices before you get to something that you want to use. Obviously, your first name and last name, if it's anything near a common name, may already be in use. You might want to add a date after it, a, uh, your zip code, your area code for your, phone, for your local phone company. Um, there are different things you want to use. Uh, so once you have your email address, it's going to be whatever it is, at msn.com. As you're setting it up, they're going to ask you some security questions as well. Make sure that you use something that not a lot of people know about you. Otherwise, it might be easy for them to get into your account as well. Obviously, something like mother's maiden name may be easily researched and looked up. They might want to ask you something like the street you lived on as a child or the first school that you went to. These are typically a little bit more secure questions. So, after you enter all your personal information, then your email is all set to go and you're ready to go with your MSN account. I'm Chris Cook with Security Awareness Incorporated.